What's going on guys, Lee Chris here, and today we're back on Farming Simulator 22 for another tutorial video, and this is another simple one for you guys. It is how to hook up, or not how to hook up, but how to use header trailers in Farming Sim 22. It's actually pretty simple, like I said, so let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. What you're gonna do is uh, bring up your purchase menu, head over to the vehicles, uh, whatever harvester you happen to buy, We'll just pick a uh, random one for the uh, purpose of this video. Um, every single one pretty much works the same. We'll kind of go through it. Um, I'll actually kind of go through it now real quick while we're, just while we're in here. So when you come to your harvesters in the game, you'll see down here at the bottom, there's a button for combinations. Um, so you just click on the harvester, you press this uh, combinations button and it shows you the two headers you can use for each harvester. Um, and then if you come to like this one right here, Combination it shows you the header and then it shows you the trailer you can use for that header So all you have to do is uh, look here and it'll show you the different headers you can use but the uh, way you find the header trailer is uh, Heading over to the header. So once you figure out what trailer what harvester you're gonna get and you pick the header You want to get you come here and you go to say we want this roster mash. We had combinations Right here is the header trailer we would need for that. It is best to do the combinations. I recommend just because if you come to uh, where it says header trailers out here and you look, there are a lot of header trailers in the game now. And they don't really tell you what they go to anymore. So uh, yeah, combinations is the best way to find out. You can do combinations from here. But uh, then that'll show you all the ones that fit on it. So you got that option. This one, obviously, the Deutzfar one is for the Deutzfar. Um, and I'll show you how to use it. So we'll just pick a harvester. Um, I think actually there is one harvester real quick. I just want to get out of the way. There is one header in the game that still has the built-on header trailer here, as you can see. So if you buy this one, you do not need a header trailer. You can hook this up to your harvester and uh, then you uh, press your fold to implement button and it will fold this header, uh, this bar into the header. And you don't need a header trailer for this. You can just unfold it, hook up to that with the back of your harvester or your uh, tractor and pull it away. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick a harvester really quick. Um, it doesn't really matter which one, like I said. We will take the, I would do the top liner because I'm sure that's the one everyone starts with. We'll just pick the uh, New Holland. We'll come in here, go to combination. As we can see, we need this verified 28 footer. Um, that would be if we're doing grain, if we're doing uh, sunflower or corn, we would need the corn header. So we'll go ahead. So we need the verified 28 footer. You come to your header, um, the uh, verified 28 footer right here. So we will go ahead and hit combinations. And as you can see right here, we need this harvester, this uh, trailer, or this trailer. So it takes either one. And then uh, the harvester and the header. So we'll go ahead and buy the verified 28 footer. I'm just going to go ahead and lease everything. I don't actually need to buy it. So we'll lease that and then the verified 28 footer will go to combinations and we'll just get this N6030 right here. There's the N7030 as well. And we'll go ahead and we'll probably just pick them both up just to show you them both. Make sure they both work. I'm sure they do, but just in case, since I said it, it at the beginning that it should, um, whichever one is here should work. I will just do that just to prove that it works. And we'll go ahead and lease our harvester. And there we go. We now have everything we need. Got my McCormick sitting here. I'll just move that out of the way. Actually, we'll go ahead and hook the McCormick up to one of these and we'll use that to pull one of them around. You can use the tractor like I said, or the harvester to pull these around. So the most important thing with these is you want to make sure, or not the most, but one of the most important things is making sure the angle, how it slants up like this, you want to make sure this is the side you bring the header up onto. You don't want to drive in from this side. As you can see this one, same way, the angled, you want to make sure you drive up on that way. We'll go ahead and back up and grab our header, which is right over here. We'll 
attached to our header. It's actually a really nice combine too. I really like this combine. But uh, this is not a garage tour or anything like that, looking at vehicles, so we're not going to dwell on how nice it looks for too long. And we'll go ahead and drive it up on here. And you do not have to get it very uh, centered. I'll show you with this one. We'll get it kind of straight. You detach, back up a little bit, and boom, you'll see it kind of snap on right there. And take it off, you just attach and drive away. And then I'll show you a little angle. If you put it on there angled, boom, it'll snap right on. That is a new feature to FS22 for all of them. On 19, it was only the cloth ones that would snap on there like that. Now every single one does. So it's very handy. And then you go ahead and attach like that. And there you go. Now you have you can uh, fit your header on the road. You have a nice little uh, setup and way to transport uh, your header down the road without swinging out and uh, taking up like three lanes of traffic. Obviously, you don't need a header trailer, but it's, it's just nice to have a header trailer. And then, uh, yeah, we'll detach that, and then I'll show you the other one. And then I'll probably show you one with the corn header as well, just to show you the corn header. We'll go ahead and drive this one over. This was the other trailer in that Combinations. That Combinations is very handy, guys. It's good for... Uh, Selecting weights when you need a weight for putting a cedar. We'll go ahead and detach that. Boom, snaps right on there now. And then you just get in your tractor and you can drive it away. Very simple. There's that. Now we'll uh, go ahead and come back into purchases. And if you want to find out what harvester you have you can see right here we have one lease so we know this is the harvester we have and we're like oh shoot we got sunflower to harvest how do we harvest that and here you go you need this 980 cr830 so you come back here and you go into your corn headers and right here 980 cr830 you click on this and then we're going to go ahead and lease it real quick and then we're going to go ahead and take combinations and right here the n20t is the one you would need to haul that so we'll go ahead and lease that as well i did notice on here there is a couple that don't actually have um, trailers that they can haul like this one so you're going to want to make sure when you're looking through these you want to make sure you find one that actually has a trailer that's compatible with it like this one again doesn't have one Plus one has one so just kind of random which ones do and don't have them this one doesn't have one but it does fit on a lot of different uh, harvesters there's another one that fits on one. Yeah, it's just kind of random which ones do and don't fit on a trailer. This NT20 kind of seems like it's a pretty uh, variable one. So we have one of these leased, so we're good now. It works exactly the same. We'll, uh, we'll just put this on the trailer, that way it's kind of out of the way. Or we'll just put this tractor on the trailer so it's kind of out of the way, so we can do this a little easier. Again, we'll pull over here. Gonna go ahead and block traffic. Actually, I'm gonna move so this guy can drive by. That way, he's not in our way. There we go. And as you can see, right here, kind of goes on the same way. You want—I uh, don't really think it's angled, but you want this part here with the uh, yellow hashes. It's usually the left side of the trailer, also that you want to drive up on. So from left to right, you want the side that goes on the harvester on the left, and the right side is where the teeth or the harvesting side would go. Go ahead and back up. Attach to this. Right over here. Sometimes these headers fold up. This one does not. And we'll go ahead and drive it on here. And same thing. Detach it. That one does not seem to want to lock on there as good. These uh, corn ones might not have the locking script on them. Doesn't look like they do.
So I guess on these ones, you're going to want to make sure you uh, get it on there a little better. It does not lock on there. But that is how you would load it on there. We'll see how it stays on there. It should stay on there pretty good. Do a little road test. Put a wiggle in here. Take it down off-roading. See how it handles off-roading. So yeah, there you go. There's a way to haul corn headers now. But uh, it's not going to be as sturdy as the ones with the locking script. But it seems like it holds pretty good. Yeah, pretty simple, guys. Uh, another simple uh, beginner tutorial. Obviously, if you played the games before, you uh, know this is pretty simple. Um, this is more for the new people. But uh, if you're a farming veteran and you have any other questions about the game, or if you're a, a new farmer uh, and you have any questions about the game, leave a comment on this video letting me know what you have a question about. I can uh, try to answer it. Or uh, before you do that, you could check out my channel. I already have a tutorial on uh, how to uh, do what you uh, want me to do. Uh, answer the question for you about so yeah that is it guys um as always i hope this helped you and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul we're gonna take back everything and lose it all